Hello. Is anybody in here? Hmm. I'm going to wait for you guys to come. Just going to get some water. Wait. Hola, hi, hello everybody, what's up, what's up, <coughs> it's me live, surprise, hello, ha, ah. hey Ashi, Joe, oh, so many people are here now, yee, okay, surprise guys, I didn't announce that I'm going live, but I just thought I'll just, just go live, uh, I hope the light is enough. Like, is it okay? Because um, the sun has almost set outside. So um, the lighting isn't perfect. The video might be grainy, but anyway. Hello, who is this? Ronaldo says hi. What name? Archie. <laughs> uh, Sven Rolf. Sven Rolf Foodison. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Hello, beauty. Oh, thanks. Beanbag says hi from Colorado. Robin Thakur. Hey, hey. Uh, Googs Goenji says, hey, Jeremy Teddy Bear says, hey, <clears throat> and uh, Abel says, salud, I don't know what that means, and Josh, he's also my patron, hi, Josh, he says, hey, Archie, hello, Josh, uh, James Whitley says, howdy, and hola, <coughs> yes, and Aditya Sharma, hi, Nikhil Rawat, hello, yes, yeah, so many people, hello from USA, hi, from India, oh, people, you're up in India, good, <laughs> that's, surprising uh hello yes hi hi everybody rans here from denver how is say how is spain spain is beautiful it is really really nice i've um i'm right now in galicia i'm in spain this this is my hotel room <clears throat> that's why a difference in the backdrop that's the little um you know like a outside like a balcony seating sort of a thing that's Okay, let me just show you, actually. Why not? Room and um, it's beautiful. Uh, Galicia, this is Spain. I hope the internet does not go away. Let me just stand on this and show you. Wow, look at this place. It's so awesome. Uh, so all the things that you see in mountains, uh, it's like about 10.30 here, 10.30 p.m. And the sun sets pretty late here. So... Um, all, the thing that you see behind is all mountains and houses and places and yeah these are the roads i'm on the eighth floor this is like the top floor and i got a really good room yes <laughs> i got a good room i think the receptionists they like me so when this uh, room was available they just shifted me to this room like an upgrade um <clears throat> okay so now we're back at this place sorry my room's messy tomorrow i have to check out from here um okay so the reason that i'm going live right now is because from tomorrow onwards i may or may not get internet like yeah like for good eight to ten days so <clears throat> i was planning to do a live session here on youtube but, oh my god if i don't get internet tomorrow i might not be able to do this live session so i might as well do it right now anyway so i'm gonna go to through all your comments right away oh hello beautiful oh, okay hi gareth uh, j rod says hi hi bob um ella from england hi colt mullen says hi minor livia says hola hola and um jeremiah teddy bear says lovely lovely surprise thank you mike barlett says hi from maine beautiful lady oh thanks rabbi chick Chichin says hello, beautiful, okay. Prem Kumar says hi from India, hi. Frank R says hello from USA. Jeremiah, hi. Michael, okay, I'm just gonna read. Ro um, Rolando, Chris, um, hi from Atlanta. Hello, Mexico, hi. Um, so many, so many, so many people. Oh, I hope I can keep up to it. Hello, I love your music, says Joey Martin. Thanks, Joey. Thanks a lot. And uh, um, 
Ryan Williams says, are you there to play? Yes, I was here for a show in Spain. Um, in fact, I am already done with the show. It was on 9th June. And um, I was playing here at Castle de Monteri in um, Santiago de Compostela. Uh, it, was, uh, it was fantastic. The turnout was like, it was packed. It was very, very good. In fact, uh, I think some people knew about me here, like through the internet, and some people had come to see me. Uh, just unfortunate that I couldn't meet them backstage because there was like, uh, you know, we had like a very bad weather uh, in the past weekend because of which the original venue, which was like an outdoor thing, that had to be shifted inside the catch castle. So they too had to take off the stage, the monitors, everything. I felt really bad for the organizers as well. And we had to shift everything inside the castle, inside like a church sort of a place. So, you know, everything was stuck in there. <laughs> So, but still, they did happen. So it was pretty cool. And then uh, a day before that, I um, aired live on Luar TV, Luar uh, program in Spain. Um, it's um, on the TVG channel. Um, apparently, Luar is the most famous uh, TV program that is there in Spain. It's been going on for like 25, 30 years. And it was actually very, very special and a quite big deal that they invited me to feature on their show for like a short interview and um, also performance that I gave on live TV. That was like the first time I ever went on absolute live TV. No cuts, no edits, nothing. And it was a foreign language. So it was he was asking me questions in Spanish language, in Espanol, and I was given a tr uh, translator who was not right, right beside me, who was somewhere up uh, near the, you know, at the backstage and I couldn't see her. So I okay. understand what I try to put up a good show anyway. Uh, so yeah, you can see this interview. Um, I'll mention that link in the description below um, so that you guys can check out that interview. Anyway, so let me go back to your comments. <clears throat> Michael Dunn says, I love your dragon head pipes. Thank you, I love them too. I love the dragon head, actually so badass. Um, Alexandra Toledo says, hi, I'm from Uruguay. Uh, hi, John Ho says, why does some backpipes have three pipes and you only two pipes? Oh, okay. So basically different backpipes have different functions. Um, there are three drone, um, what, do you, what you're seeing pipes, basically you're referring to drones. So there are some backpipes have, who have, which have two drones like bass and tenor, and some backpipes have three drones, bass, tenor, high. So this is the reason why, you know, some backpipes have two drones and some backpipes have three drones. But, Every country has their own kind of bagpipes. So some people prefer two, some people prefer even one drone. My new bagpipe is going to have just one drone. So yeah, it's just like a preference and also the tone and how a piper wants his pipes to be. And uh, um, so um, Zero Kid says, hey, from Oregon, USA. Hello, John Nethery says, hello from California. So US is up right now and I'm getting a lot of people from there. Dan Land says, hello from California. Hi, Spilka Alexandro. Hi from Romania. Hi, Romania, okay. Brian Ellinger says, hello from Ohio, USA. Your music is beautiful. Oh, I think I read this comment, sorry. Yes, thank you. And uh, hello from Belgium. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, so many people here on the live chat. Thank you so much. Um, Willow Art says, amazing collaboration you did with the Highland Dancers from COE Academy. Thank you. Um, I hope you guys uh, did watch my latest video, which is actually quite a swanky one that I did. It, it's a uh, Scottish Indian Punjabi mix uh, of a very, very old traditional folk Scottish uh, tune uh, called Rousey Maggie. So we made it into like a Bhangra beat uh, Punjabi song. 
kind of dubstep Punjabi song. So make sure you check that out and leave a comment on what you think about the song. Um, I can link at the end of the uh, video, but then I'm sure you can just find it on my channel. That's the latest video I did. So go and check it out and do share the video. So people who actually support me and who watch my videos, um, I mean, thank you so much. If you are wondering about what's the best way to support me and um, how you could actually make a difference, to me, uh, by doing very, very little things is like when you do like the video, if you enjoy, like that's if you like the video. So if you enjoy the, watching any of my video, please do share it. Actually, sharing is what actually makes a lot of difference. So when you share the video, your friends watch it, some maybe out of 10 people, one more person, watch, uh, one more person shares it. And that's how you actually help me reach out to more people. and that way you actually help me out you know so yeah if you like my music um make sure you share it that's a very good thing and um, another way to support me and to help me make more videos is uh, through patreon uh, something that i do talk about at the end of every video of mine uh, patreon is a website where you can support your favorite video uh, content create creators and uh, support them for as less as one dollar like that's it, you know. So if you um, don't want to do too much, that's completely okay. Even a dollar goes a long way. So how it works is every time I upload a new video, uh, whoever wants to support me, they that, that's the time they get charged. And I upload only like one video a month. So that's like a dollar a month and um, you you support me. So um, this has actually helped me a lot because... I remember um, a few months back, actually, hmm, not even few, like probably by last year, uh, we used to be very, very restricted in what we can do, what we cannot do in terms of videos, in terms of ideas. But ever since uh, some amazing people started supporting me on Patreon, uh, that kind of that thinking kind of burned up because uh, then we started getting some financial help from people uh, who would want to see more, who would want to support my videos. And uh, because of that, I was able to go to different places. So my travel expense would be paid and, you know, the lodging, all of that would be paid through the Patreon money that I get. So uh, Patreon is a great way and you become a direct contributor in my career uh, with this is a dollar uh, to how much ever you want to <clears throat> and that way uh, you know you, you just help me make more videos and make everything more possible in fact as a rewards to my patreon um, I give all my songs for free so you don't have to buy my mp3s uh, to my patrons um, you know there are different tiers of patreon so for certain tiers of my patrons they get all my mp for free and um, a certain tier of patreon even get to chat with me every month uh, so not like this um, uh, on skype we do like a one-on-one -on -one chat with my patrons so i get to know them personally they get to know me personally i tell them a lot of secrets about what i'm going to do next the offers and all of that so it's really it's like a family everybody knows everybody and it, it's just that's what i try to do with the patrons to engage with them as much as possible so yeah that's patreon i'll leave a link down below if any of you want to contribute or else if you don't want to sign up for something um you know something long term you could even pledge here on youtube uh, i think there's a super chat button so yeah if you pledge any amount of money your name pops up in, in the chat and get like that sort of a highlight and yeah that money goes into my youtube money anyway uh so back to the comments section i think i missed a lot because i'm yapping uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see mm. okay so uh so i'm sorry like i i'm definitely going to be missing some comments i think uh because uh, you know i was chatting and a lot of people have commented uh, during that time anyway broken syntax says oh wow now i'm glad i subscribed when i saw the boston enter sandman video hi charming canada check in hi thanks steven Fitra says hello from texas um um cry havoc says they upgraded your room when they learned you are a star <laughs> no i didn't tell anybody who you know who i am what i do anyway i'm not like a star or not like 
somebody famous just doing my thing and trying to get there someday people might recognize me when they see me um and i think when you don't have to introduce yourself that's the time that you know you're famous or that's the time you know that people know you so until then i'll try to be mod modest <laughs> anyway so uh yeah um kori bard has says i have one can you do a native american song uh sure like suggest name that you're trying to say um hey marion says hello from Far florida nice room thank you yeah it's a nice room but i'm checking out tomorrow oh so i'm sad anyway josh salazar so he is my patreon hi josh says yes so many people love you oh thank you and um uh hi from dutchland um so yes hello from the northern alberta your music is fantastic says ricky uh thanks hi from the uk um come to colorado for the irish festival bean says okay sure like like i said if you guys want me to come to your city or if you want me to come to your country uh i would be doing the live shows very soon but maybe you'll have to help me there because uh probably if you know a local promoter or uh, like he's saying come to irish festival so if you know anybody from the irish festival like an organizer or promoter get in touch with them to get in touch with me and then i would be you know like that's how we can make a connection to get to your place uh so yeah like somebody just pledged oh somebody just pledged 10 dollars on the super chat hi riada Pol polanti oh, i'm sorry Riara Polantia, big clap! Thank you. I love your backpipes and your music video. She says, "Thank you, Riara, and you rock." Thank you so much. And now coming back to the comments, um, uh, Siva Selvam Narayan Murthy says, "I love your pirates music. Thanks. I love it too." Um, then, um, <clears throat> hey, beautiful. I want to see your instrument, uh, Aries. Oh, sure. Um, I have part of my instrument there. I'll show it to you at the end of the video, but it doesn't have the drones right now because, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, I think it has, it has, but I can't play it because you need like an amplifier to connect it and play it, which I don't have right now. So without the amp, it wouldn't sound anyway. Um, so next to, am I ring? Um, William says, soul of the shipping up to Boston cover. Yay. Thank you. Barry Toller. Hi from USA. Hi, beautiful. Thank you. And, um, Corbin Ambrose says, how did you not cry during the zombie cover? <laughs> Thanks. Um, well, because when we make music, we listen to it over again. So yeah, when, when I heard the, heard it for the first time, it was waiting to, I mean, cause, um, Zombie is such an iconic band and Dolores is such an iconic singer and when we heard that sad news of her passing away we really had to make this tribute so yeah it, it's a emotional cover for sure. Uh, Nerald Emil says will you be coming to the USA anytime soon? Yeah I get this question I get this I get asked this question a lot of times <laughs> yeah um, um I don't have a definite answer, so I don't know what to say. Um, there are some things that's in the pipeline which I cannot disclose right now. Uh, let's just hope those things work out and I do get to the US. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff comes, hi, I love your video. Thanks. Um, Stephen Fullen writer says, How was your audience? Looks like you have a great room. Do you have pictures from your show? Uh, hi, Stephen. So, the audience was amazing. Like, it, like I said, it was like a full house and um, there were middle-aged to very young people too in the audience and the best part was point uh, they were even dancing to one of my indian songs so i think that was pretty accomplished that that was an accomplishment i will post pictures when i get them so i'm waiting for some professional pictures that they that were taken that day um, maybe in a couple of days they will come and i'll post it on my facebook page the snake charmers so make sure to Check it out. A hey, Lord Pitt says hi from Madrid. Hi, somebody from Spain. Hello. Hi, Madrid. Um, Michael McCamke says hello from the US. Please do a tour through Midwest. Uh, okay, hold on, please. Just one minute. 
Hold on, somebody's knocking on my door. Who's that? Uh, what is it? Okay. Oh my God, I asked, I got asked to keep it as somebody's trying to sleep. What the fuck? Are the walls not strong enough here? <laughs> Someone's trying to sleep. The whole of Spain is up at 10.50, but uh, somebody's trying to sleep and I think I'm disturbing them. So they just said, can you keep it down? Cause I'm trying to sleep. I'm like, okay. I respect that. Anyway, so um, um, smash the like button like this. Hello from the US. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, hi from Galicia. Hope you are enjoying your stay. Ciprian Veloz. Okay, yes, I am enjoying my stay, definitely. David B says, wow, I actually am able to catch the live stream. Hello, ma'am, yes, you are able to catch this live stream, I guess. Um, Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go over the go over the comments. Upload when you are done, and no way, that's crazy. Well, at least they were able to relocate you. Oh, nice. Where you know us, love your music, snake drama. I have requests if you could ever maybe something. Anyway, yes, I was nervous. I, I mean, I am. You, to be very honest with you guys, I mean it's. Um, very different for me because I'm not somebody who's very very used to touring and doing shows here and there so just like any artist performing live you're always nervous because especially when you're uh, performing in front of a live audience I mean um, a new audience I mean to say so you never know how they respond uh, in countries have different kind of people different cultures different music that they used to so whether or not they're gonna like you your music you have no idea unless you get on the stage and you perform and you actually see their reactions so before getting there uh, yes i'm always nervous when i before i perform so I to do a lot of <sighs> before i get to, <laughs> to the stage anyway so that was the answer to our question um Aries romances, please sing Call of the Mountains in your instrument. Uh, sure, maybe something. <clears throat> I thought you were asking me to sing right now, and there's no way I can sing because when I was speaking itself, the voice was so loud that it went to the next room, and I'm still a little freaked out by that because I the walls here are dry walls, so the sound goes off very, very easily. Uh, anyway, so... Hello from a hot El Paso. Hmm. Hi from Germany. The Rel Snack Chung. Oh, okay, love it. Uh, I also play back by. Oh, hi. Uh, you not watching? Uh, last, continue doing what you do. We all look forward to the music that you release and enjoy hearing your singing voice too. Joseph Bennett says, thank you, Joseph. Um, in fact, in my ne new, I mean, I had thought after my last live chat and the new live chat, I would sing for my audience to just tell you guys that to have a voice to sing. And I sing, but I don't think it's for today. Because <laughs> if I do, I'm definitely going to wake that guy up. Yeah, he's, he's not going to get any sweet dreams. <laughs> anyway um mike woodoff says you do great work keep it up thank you now questions <clears throat> ryan williams uh i've been wanting to support you on patreon i haven't but i've shared and shown all my friends how have a wonderful trip in spain my friend thank you um no i'm um c rocker says hello from india hi you're up really late um um hey archie cheers from ottawa Furian Band says, hey, oh, hi, Rolf, I think. Hi, hi. And um, Will Verdon, he is my Patreon. Skip a coffee each month and support. Oh, so sweet. Thanks, Will. That's the way. <laughs> oh, so sweet. So Will Burton is um, my Patreon. And uh, so sweet of him to have written that comment. Thanks, Will. You rock. Um, Barry Toller says, how are you doing? Levy Washburn, have the 
cut slower so we can drool over the pretty girls more. Okay. <laughs> um, Dwayne says, so neat. Just love your music. Enjoy it into Sandman. Thanks a lot. Um, now, what else? Ross Turner, you are the best backpiper. And just to let you know, I will be joining your Patreon in a couple of years. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, what else? Huh? Le Levi Washburn says, okay, interesting comment. How often do you get a sexual innuendo with the name Snake Charmer? Mm. Well, I think it's good that we talk about this because uh, people feel too free to write just anything on the internet. And um, I'm usually the kind of person who does call out people. <laughs> I don't really forgive. Um, um, and I'm not somebody who is like, oh, it's okay, it's the internet, let people do whatever. But yeah, I mean, I don't go behind people correcting them every time. But then, yeah, I think it's high time people understand that um, you don't just have to write uh, stupid things, whatever comes to your mind. Um, yes, I do get such innuendos very often. Uh, mm -hmm comments like oh you know you you can see it in my comments like almost every video has at least one or two people saying things that oh she can blow i mean obviously everybody has a laugh when they see such comments but it's kind of thing that if i were a if i were a guy nobody would be writing that comment people would be appreciating the way i perform you know my music and nobody would think about anything sexy or any innuendos if I were a guy playing the bagpipes. So nobody would make him comments like, oh, he knows how to blow or any such rubbish. But um, because I'm a girl, they think it's very, um, it's convenient to say shit like that. I absolutely don't appreciate anything or any making such comments. I'd want, even though I'm a girl and I do what I do, um, I don't appreciate such uh, comments about an instrument. That is how the instrument is. You're supposed to blow air into the backpipe, and you know, and that's how it's played. I can't help it. I can't alter it. That's the way it is. People need to get their shit cleared from their mind and need to respect artists. Res need to respect women uh, in music. And um, really, honestly, I mean. I'm very grateful that I have way more of appreciative audience than the naysayers or than the people who try to make fun of what I do. So I'm very, very lucky that way. Really, really. I am definitely going to say that because if you see the amount of likes I get on my videos, they're way, way, uh, you know, a lot more than the dislikes that I get. So yes, that way I'm really, really lucky to have a very supportive audience. But then yeah, there are these occasional idiots who come to my video <laughs> and write such things. And I don't really have fun with that. And people might, uh, who probably don't connect with me personally, but I'm sure my Patreons, people who actually really like me, people who actually connect with what I do, people who actually really love me, don't appreciate such things either. So yeah, I think my message is that guys realize, um, you know, just because I'm a girl and what I do or what appears on the video is uh, for you in your head, it's like a innuendo or it, it's something sexual does not mean you right to just type down your stupidity and present yourself like an idiot to the entire world because you're looking like an idiot. Really, not me, not me. I'm just doing my shit. I'm making things happen. I'm doing stuff for my career. Uh, you're not, you're looking like an idiot. So yeah, I'm being very, very frank. I'm not being diplomatic at, at all here. Um, and I, I'm really a lot about respect. I believe to move forward with my talent, with my skills, and not by any other thing. You know, that's that's what I want people to know me as and recognize me for. So yes, that thanks for asking me that question, Levi Washburn, and that's my answer. Anyway, uh, Ian Walsh says I'm a guitarist. Oh, that I'm sorry. Something just refreshed and. Uh, something just went off. Anyway, so 
Mm. Bean bag says, don't acknowledge the fools. Yeah, I, I really don't. Uh, usually I don't reply them back and I don't say anything, but um, I did get a chance to say something right now. And I want to put that, put this out that I don't funny at all. I just find them extremely stupid and presenting themselves like idiots to the world. <laughs> Uh, Terminator says, you are beautiful and an amazing artist. They are idiots for sure. <laughs> okay, thanks. Danny, hello from Montana, USA. Hello. And uh, Kale Chain, I am new here. I saw one of her videos on Facebook. Oh, thanks. Uh, what else? What else? Ankit Ravid says, hey, Archie, sup? Hope you're doing well. Yes, I'm doing great. Chris Trahan, where can I go get the autograph? <laughs> no, I haven't done, uh, I haven't um, released anything of that sort yet. But I am going to be coming up with a website. Uh, I'm going to be selling my posters, some sheet music, my MP3s and some merchs too, some merchandise. And I'm planning to give away uh, stuff for free to my patrons also. Let's see, when, when that comes into shape, I'll definitely put it here, right? Uh, um, now, uh, now, now, I mean, hi from Croatia. Thanks for the great music and the videos. I am from Scotland and it makes me proud So hear the back, to hear the backpipes being played so well. Neil Lack, Neil, yes. hi Neil, thanks a lot. Um, in now what else uh eno rapid says you're amazing as a fellow musician i have to say so all the respect that comes your way love from finland thanks a lot thank you chris says hi i love your videos thanks a lot um um joey polygraph says i never understood guys who lead with sexual comments do they really think they are the first clever ones to say that crap I, I know, right? Like, yeah, it's just so stupid. Nerad Emil says, well said, Archie. I wish people would straighten up. Well, they never would, honestly. I don't expect people to straighten up with what I said. Uh, but if there are people who have such a thinking and half side of their brain is also sane, they might probably try to understand and find some sense in what I just said. So hoping for that. Um, Kale Chain says, I think it's great that women play bagpipes. It's great. Thanks. Yes, it is. Um, you play a mean bagpipe. Thanks. Um, and how long does it take before I don't get so dizzy playing the pipes? Abby Babby. Uh, I think it takes it takes a lot of I think practice and um, just to understand how much air you need to blow and you know get the pressure right and stuff. Even you know uh, like when I'm learning gaita, like I'm learning the Spanish bagpipe here in Galicia, so I get dizzy too. Like my entire this this mouth gets like that, you know, because it gets so strained just exercising and practicing for a long time. So stop whenever you need to take a sip of water and start again. Uh, and then um, David B says, that is very admirable. Thank you. Um, Rebel just the kicks says, I'm, I'm just so happy someone finally shows the world that the pipes ain't just a noise and can be beautiful musically. Thanks. You know, I, I actually feel that bagpipes are such a dominant and such a strong instrument and um, it's got so much potential and only this much has been shown to the world. Like really, their bagpipes go as back as fourth century. Can you believe it? Like people invented bagpipes back in the fourth, fifth century from Middle East, from the Middle East. Um, so they have been part of every culture so it's not just scotland uh, bagpipes were in croatia um iran turkey scotland india so many different parts of the world so they've just been that instrument that connects people that gets people going and i want to bring the most beautiful side of that through my music so that's what i want to do anyway um now, come play in the middle of Inverness, the home of bagpipes. Uh, thanks, Ross. I've been to Scotland before, and I on my next trip, I definitely want to do Inverness and Isle of Sky for sure. Uh, Kale Chain says, hi from Scotland. Hi. Um, 
now yeah so if you if you guys have any if you guys have any sort of questions please feel free to ask me here please uh, you can post your comments i would love to answer the comments that i can get to read and can get to uh anyway um now turkey in here hello <laughs> thanks hi from ny R E says, um, hello from Scotland. Uh, had fun on my land, Galicia. Yes, I'm still in Galicia, by the way, and I'm going to be here till 23rd. So Galicia is fun. Um, then, hello from the UK. Recently discovered your music. It's amazing, says Raul Rupchand. Thank you. Um, th thanks. I'm really glad you like my music. Um, and then you should have your neighbor come get. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody has written you should have your neighbor come get on the chat i really don't know how that's gonna come by like if i had if i'd asked him to come to my room and get to the chat i think he's gonna stab me or kill me or something because i think he really really wants to sleep and i i doubt that my voice isn't going aside i think it still is even though i'm talking as softly as i could anyway hmm uh, don't stress on the neighbors, lol. Tell them to tune into a stream. <laughs> you guys are fun. Really, some of the comments are just amazing. Um, now, um, hello, I love your music. Uh, so you become out in the Celtic Festival, Lauren in France, says Sebastian Gold. Like I said, if you guys want me to come to your country, to your place, uh, to your to your province or something, or a festival near you, uh, let me know and or, and also contact your local promoters or organizers. I think that would be the right way to go about it. So when you tell them about me, they could get in touch with me and try to get me there. Uh, come to South Florida, thanks, I would like to. Drag Pack says, can you speak Spanish? No, I wish I knew Spanish because, uh, so let me tell you something about Spain here. <clears throat> I think I've been chatting about everything else. Uh, Spain is actually very, very beautiful and the people here, they're all super sweet. Like everybody is very, very, very nice and very sweet. Uh, but the only problem here is everybody speaks in espano nobody speaks english like i think if there are 100 people 98 percent of them would be speaking in spanish not english but uh, even the menus if you go to the restaurants everything is written spanish 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 now i don't know if it's the same case with madrid and barcelona um, but i don't think it's the same case because they get a lot of tourists but this part of Spain, Galicia, Orense, um, they don't really get a lot of tourists. It's not a very touristy place. So I think that's the, that's the reason why they don't feel the need to speak or learn English or to write stuff in English. But anyway, that's the only thing that's been giving me a real hard time. So I use my phone, like I use the Google Translate app. And <laughs> when I go to a restaurant, I take the menu and for 10 minutes, I'm just typing out things that I see in the menu, you know, translating it on the Google Translate app. And then I finally go to the waiter and tell them my order. But everybody is really, really sweet to me. I mean, I'm really surprised that even though I may come across irritating because I don't speak their language and they have to spend extra five, seven minutes with me just trying to understand what I want and what I don't want. Um, but still, they're like, oh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. It's OK. OK, we try. We will try. And the end of the day, we just have a laugh and everything's really, really nice. So the people here are really good. The food here is amazeballs. Like, I love the food here. It's very, very nice. And the everything tastes here very good, very supreme, very, very fresh. So that way, it's been very nice. And today, thankfully, uh, Galicia had a bit of sunshine. When I got here, like since the past four days, it's always been rainy and super cloudy and super cold. And I was not at all prepared for that. I had gotten all my summer clothes, like short clothes and, you know, good dresses just so that I could get, click good pictures and stuff. And all of that was covered with one bad jacket that I'd got. And I didn't even think that I would need the jacket. But 
got it uh, just in case if it's cold here. But it was so cold. <laughs> for a person like me, I can tolerate heat. But for me, uh, I can't really bear a lot of cold. So anyway, thankfully today it was very pleasant. It was The sun was out. The day was very pleasant, very, very good. Okay. Now, um, now I'm going to read the comments from bottom to top. James Bond says, hey, hey, James Bond. Uh, Auburn Heroine says, love your music and really like the video of Drowsy Maggie interviewing Celtic Punjabi musically and through the dancing. I hope it was much fun to make as it was to watch. Yes, it was so much fun to, uh, to make. And uh, even the music process was a lot of fun. And I knew that, you know, it, there was a self-satisfaction when I made this music with Karan, who's the music producer. And uh, when he, uh, you know, he, I was like, wow, I really love it. We made some changes and that was that. I just, I was totally feeling the music. Even when we were shoot, you could see the happiness in my face. And none of those steps that I was doing like that, they were not choreographed. I was just feeling the music, just moving to it. And in fact, if I tell you the story of this video, oh my gosh, we shot this in Delhi and never shooting another video outdoors in Delhi in either May or June. Oh my God, it was so hot. It was like, we started shooting at 5.30 because we had to wait until the sun was, uh, you know, kind of up. And by 7 a.m., it was like 38 degrees here, 38 degrees Celsius. It was, it was hot. It was really, really boiling. And there was no air, no breeze. The, we had to shoot this two days. So the first day when we shot, there was not even a little bit of wind, not even a leaf was moving. So it was so hot, no air. And I'm like, I usually am not a person who sweats a lot, but that day I was sweating from here, from my eyes. And obviously you have to have some makeup on. So with the makeup, my skin's getting even more sweaty. And I'm like, oh my God, stop. I can't shoot like looking like this. I was so sweaty. But anyway, somehow we executed that. The second day of shooting was better because there was at least a little bit of breeze. But yeah, shooting that video was a real pain in the ass. Like it was really very, very hard. Even for the dancers, the Bhangra dancers, for example, we shot their video. Can you believe the whole routine was shot in 15 minutes? No kidding. It was shot in the evening, 15 minutes, in a basketball court. Their uh, feet were br badly bruised by the end of shooting because the surface was very uneven, rough, and they had really stomped their feet. I felt really bad for those guys and couldn't really help too much. Um, but yeah, it was very, very hot. And because of the summers, the sun, the window to shoot that you get is so short because um, the sun comes right on your top, right at the top of your head so fast, and then that you cannot shoot anymore. But yeah, this video was really fun. Otherwise, I loved it. Uh, um, now, uh, Abby Babby says, Delhi is like living on the sun. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very close to the sun. It is like you got an apartment inside the sun or something. Um, are you going to come to Madrid next days? Lord Pitt says, yes, I am coming to Madrid. I am going to be coming to Madrid on 24th, 24th of June. And um, I organize a meet and greet something that I've been saying. Um, I'll organize a meet and greet where if you guys are in Madrid and if you want to meet me, um, I'll organize a day and a place where we can all meet, have coffee or lunch or whatever, and just I'll meet you guys and say hi and just get to know you personally. So yeah, we I'll come to Madrid. I will announce here the dates when I'll be ready to meet and we can do a meet and greet just you know, you guys meet me, I meet you guys, and we just get to meet each other. That's it. Uh, and um, um, can you do your own take on Scottish classics like Loch Malomon, Flower of Scotland, Rebel Just for Kick says? Yeah, sure. In fact, because this video, this new video has been so well received, it's at half a million views on Facebook already. I'm actually really, really planning to do more such stuff. So make Scottish music 
which I really find interesting, but to make it, um, to present it with a little more twist and to give it that Indian twist. So I would definitely do more of such things. Uh, and um, Ian Walsh says, come to London, please. Uh, okay, call me. <laughs> Jeremiah Teddy Bear says, uh, I love hearing your voice on these live streams. Unfortunately, I have to go to work now. Okay, bye-bye. See ya another time. And Don Virgo says, are you going to do more projects with Chelsea and Jane? Love the shipping up to Boston cover. Absolutely. I really enjoyed working with them both. And um, uh, we've been in talks to do more of such videos. In fact, we thought we'll meet in Spain because they're in Europe, uh, in Scotland and Austria. And uh, we did think of meeting up here, but somehow we couldn't work the dates because even they are touring and yeah, my plans are also a little unstable. Yes, we are definitely going to do another video, guys. For you guys, for sure. Um, and um, James, um, really love your music. That different than the other cover and the other music videos. My favorite is Pirates of the Caribbean. So can you like that? And thank you to be different. Thanks, thanks a lot. Um, now more Metallica song says Timothy. I definitely want to. I, there's a Metallica song, song in my mind that I absolutely want to do, and I will do that for sure. Um, how was your shoot through the Indian streets? I just mentioned the entire fiasco that we had. Anyway, um, come to Ireland, please. It would be brilliant to see you play live, Mickey says. Thanks. I would definitely love to come there. Um, um, who else? It's a little, you know, it's a little weird just scrolling through and through all these comments. Uh, Kale Chain, I some weather love it, buddy. I am um, MMA match tomorrow night. Should be good. Um, why does everyone want you to speak Indian? Who said that? Did anybody say that they want me to be Indian? First of all, it's Hindi. It's not Indian. So uh, the people of Indian the people who are from India are called Indian, but the language we speak is Hindi, H-I-N-D-I. So that's the language name. Um, I love the Avengers theme. Could you do God of War theme from the new game that came out, please? Yeah, absolutely. I will check that out and um, I should do it for sure. From Russia with love, you're amazing, really cool, high quality and original music. Is it planned to release a full length album? Sure, I might be doing an album very, very soon. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it, guys. That's it from me today. It's um, about 50 minutes now that I've been online. But honestly, going through your messages, I don't even get to know that I have spent that much time with you guys because it's so much fun interacting with people who watch my videos. So I actually... Uh, I really like to be involved with my viewers, with people who appreciate me, with people who like my videos. So, okay, I'm just going to take a few more comments and then I think I'm going to go back um, to my to bed. Um, Basilius Schwarz says, hey, Archie, I'm Chris from Austria. I love it when original artists like you do their thing. If you like suggestions, maybe you would like to work with Raul I'm sure you know him. Oh, yeah, he uh, rapped for um, Bloody Wood and we met, um, you know, we share a studio, Bloody Wood and I. Uh, so they, when they were mu making the music, Raul was over there and we, in, you know, we had a talk together and I absolutely think he is very, 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 very good with his lyrics, with his rap. And um, someday I would love to work with him for sure. I might, I might definitely get him to rap something on my song. So good suggestion. Um, and a couple more questions, I guess. Uh, do you, um, the last of Mohican's song, try this one. Yes, you know, there are just some songs, some epic songs that I've been wanting to do, but something else comes up. Something else comes up when I'm trying to do that. Uh, I would definitely try Last of the Americans. Uh, I want to do Amazing Grace. Give me a shout out right now, comments, if you want me to do Amazing Grace. Uh, so been, I want to do that on the backpipes. I might shoot that in Spain. That's what my plan was. So I might do that, like Amazing Grace, even Last of Americans. Let's just see. There's just too little time for all that, but I definitely want to do that. Um, then... Um, 
uh, Arnie says, um, okay, uh, love your music. You are an incredible musician. By the way, the term he or she can really blow was used to describe exceptional horn players. Yes, had a good meaning once upon a time. <laughs> and it was once upon a time. Okay, now one question. Uh, a question for you, are you planning to do an Indian Raga fusion with the backpipes? Well, if you do, trust me, you will get a hell lot of followers from India actually. As a fan, I would like to do that. Uh, I haven't really thought about it. Now that I read your comment, I could look into it and maybe sometime down the line I might do that. But it's not right now at the top of the list that I have planned to do. But yeah, why not, you know, open to good things, good ideas and good fusions for sure. Um, and Rose LaGriff says, thank you for your music and the joy you put in your videos. You are a real beam of pure happiness and your videos always brighten my days. Thanks, that's the aim. And if it does, I'm really glad it does uh, do that. So thanks. Anyway, I'm really sorry, guys, if you uh, have found this this session of my chat to be a little dull and not as energetic as I try to make. Uh, some of you already know why, because my neighboring room guy just told me to lower it down. <laughs> so I can't really, you know, be all enthusiastic, but I'll try to do another live chat when I go to my next apartment and if i can get good internet i'll do a better live stream for you guys because i don't enjoy dull things dull dull chats nothing so yeah if i get a chance i'll do that so yeah anyway thanks guys thank you so much for joining me this time on on um, the live chat with me and thanks for bearing through my low super low tone i hope you all were able to hear me uh, i really hope so and um, thanks a lot guys i'll see you on another live chat uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any song in mind that you would like me to do also vote for uh, amazing grace or last of the mohicans which one you'd like me to do and i might roll that video out by the end of june i might just do it so anyway, again, thanks a lot for being such a lovely audience. I love you all. Adios, ciao, and I'm gonna see you in the next live chat or on my next video, whichever comes first. Bye-bye, see ya.